Hello, my name is Michelle Anderson, and I am one of the pharmacists at the St. Cloud VA. Today, I will be talking about some of the medications that are often used to improve overall heart health. There are many medications that can help manage heart health, including aspirin, blood pressure medications, and cholesterol medications. Even though these medications are very important, they do not take the place of lifestyle changes, such as improved diet and exercise, that were previously discussed today. It is important to remember to take these medications exactly as they are prescribed to get the most benefit. You may not feel any differently when you take these medications, but you should continue taking them unless instructed to stop by your doctor. The medications are still working in the background to improve your heart health, even though you likely will not feel your blood pressure lowering or your cholesterol improving. The first medication we will discuss is aspirin 81 milligrams, which is also known as a baby aspirin. It is used to prevent heart attacks and strokes. Your individual need for aspirin should be discussed with your doctor. It is typically recommended for anyone over 50 years of age or for people who have already had a heart attack or stroke. Next, we will move on to talking about blood pressure. Blood pressure is a measure of the pressure that your blood exerts on the walls of your blood vessels. Hypertension, also known as high blood pressure, does not always mean you are feeling tense, anxious, or nervous. You can have high blood pressure even if you feel calm or are not under stress. Having high blood pressure for a prolonged period of time can lead to many health complications, including damage to your eyes, heart, kidneys, and arteries. It can also cause a heart attack or stroke. Your individual blood pressure goal should be discussed with your doctor. There are many types of medications for high blood pressure, and some of the medications can be used for multiple disease states. Your doctor and healthcare team will work with you to select the best medication for you based on your medical history. The first types of high blood pressure medications are called angiotensin converting enzyme, or ACE inhibitors, and angiotensin II receptor blockers, or ARBs. These two groups of medications work in similar ways to lower your blood pressure. These medications can also be used to help protect your kidneys, especially if you have diabetes. Lisinopril and Losartan are examples. Common side effects are cough and dizziness or feeling lightheaded. Another type of medication for high blood pressure is a diuretic or water pill. Hydrochlorothiazide and chlorthalidone are common examples of diuretics. These medications can also be used to help with extra water in your body, which can cause swelling in your legs or increased shortness of breath. Frequent urination is a common side effect of these medications. Calcium channel blockers, such as amlodipine, can also be used for high blood pressure. Common side effects include dizziness or lightheadedness and increased swelling of your lower legs. Beta blockers can also be used to lower blood pressure. They are often used in patients with fast heart rates, heart failure, and after a heart attack. Some examples include metoprolol, atenolol, and carvedilol. The most common side effects are dizziness or lightheadedness and feeling tired. You may have noticed that all of the blood pressure medications I discussed can cause lightheadedness or dizziness, which is a common symptom of low blood pressure. It is important to monitor your blood pressure at home. If you are taking a blood pressure medication and do not have a blood pressure monitor at home, Contact your PAC team to receive a monitor and education on proper use. If the top number on the blood pressure machine is consistently less than 100, or if you have symptoms of low blood pressure, you should also contact your PAC team. 
The last thing I will cover is medications to control high cholesterol. Having high cholesterol can lead to heart disease, which includes heart attacks and strokes. Plaque and cholesterol can build up in your blood vessels, which can cause decreased blood flow. Pieces of plaque can also break off and cause problems in your body. Certain medications can lower the risk of these conditions when combined with diet and exercise. The medications used for high cholesterol are also used to prevent against heart attacks and strokes. Having a high LDL, or lousy cholesterol, has been associated with a higher risk of strokes and heart attacks. However, it is important to remember that you may benefit from these even if your cholesterol labs are normal because they are still working to lower your risk of strokes and heart attacks. The specific medication and dose is based on your personal risk of having a heart attack or stroke. Your PACT team will work with you to determine which medication is best for you. The most commonly used medications for high cholesterol are referred to as statins. These have been proven to prevent heart attacks and strokes better than other medications that were used for high cholesterol before. Statins work to decrease your lousy cholesterol. They are also thought to help prevent the plaque in your blood vessels from breaking off. Common examples include atorvastatin, simvastatin, rosuvastatin, and pravastatin. These are often dosed once daily, and some need to be taken in the evening. Common side effects include muscle aches or pains and stomach pain. It is important to contact your PAC team with any questions after starting any new medicines. You should also try not to suddenly stop any medicines without first contacting your PAC team. Thank you for joining us. If you have any questions about the videos you have just watched, please contact your healthcare team.